everyone welcome back to same right fashion academy youtube channel once again today i'm so glad to be with you today for this particular tutorial so today's tutorial will be focusing on the drop shoulder and the plunge neckline illusion mesh so if you look at the picture on the thumbnail you'll notice that we have a drop shoulder we have an illusion mesh together with the the outfit so the first thing we want to do first thing first is to divide our shoulder seam line okay so if you, if you have been following seam right fashion academy online um, youtube channel you notice that this is the first thing we always do so for this particular for you to follow this tutorial you need to know how to draft your basic bodies okay so this is the basic bodies and i'll be dropping the link on the description box below so i have my shoulder line this is the shoulder at which all measurements are being taken from i have the chest line this is the bust point this is the under bust point and then i have my waist line all right so now i'll be after doing this the next thing i like to do is to find the bust radius from the bust point the bust radius is the difference between your bust point and the under bust so whatever figure i have here i'm going to rotate that figure i'm rotating it this will help me to know whether the bust is going to be exposed or not and also when padding this dress i use these lines to pad them as well okay all right so from the bust point you can see the marking of the bust area that is where the bust is going to sit so next i'm going to do i'm going to determine the neckline so i will come down from the natural neckline by one inch and i'll come on the width i'll also come in by one inch once that is done I'm going to connect the new neckline so this is the new neckline which I'm going to work with right now so the next thing I want to do I want to mark out the plunge neckline so from here to here I'm coming in by one inch it depends on what you want to uh, make okay so but for what I have in there I'm coming in by one inch because we'll be having an illusion mesh attached to it now i'm going to flush what i have on that point i'm using my pattern ruler to do that okay so i'll have it come in okay so if i actually want to make this part wider i came in by one inch that means you can come in by one and a half so when you open you'll be having three inches okay so it all depends on what you actually want so you can use your curve ruler and you can use your straight ruler okay whichever one you want to use for this connection so i'll be using the straight part of my curve ruler to connect my neckline and this neckline i'm connecting it to the under bust can you see so i've connected it so all of this is my mesh this is the mesh which i'm going to uh, cut out and cut on fold to form that particular dress so what i have here can also be connected to the waistline so if you wish to connect to the waistline all you are going to do is to place your ruler here and you cut off to the waistline if that will be easier for you all right so now it's time for us to tighten the under bust and we'll be making use of a princess that right here so to tighten the under bust from the center front line, this is my center front line. I'm going to take my tape around my bust firmly. Whatever figure I have, I'm going to divide by four. This is the result of what I divided. And whatever thing that is remaining here, I'm going to put 0 0.25 here and the rest one inch i'll put here so what i have here is 1.25 i put 0 0.25 here one inch here 
so if you have two inches there put 0 0.25 here and the remaining at this point so i'll come in with my ruler now to contour my under bust you can see how i'm doing that from here to here i flip my ruler making sure i touch this point and the under bust okay the bust point and where i contour so now i'm going to cut in to this and i'm going to draw my line to this so what does that mean i'm going to cut off all these that we don't need them all of these that is going to go off for our under bust contouring so now i'm going to make a princess that for this because i have it as a shoulder dress so princess that is going to be quite fitting so here i have 10 inches and half of 10 inches is 5 inches so it depends on what you actually want to make okay sometimes from the midpoint you can come up by one in depending on the kind of princess that you can come down by you can even take it at the mid point so i'm making a full princess that i'll come down by one inch and make my mark from the midpoint so I'll be placing my ruler to curve into the one inch I made and into the bust point. And on the armhole line, I'll come out by one inch. We do this to accommodate our that. So here I come in by one inch to extend or recreate my new armhole. So I'm recreating my new armhole as you can see right now. So now my new armhole has been recreated for the uh, princess that, okay? So it's time for the business of this tutorial, which is the drop shoulder. So for the drop shoulder, simply is an extension of your shoulder into the arm, okay? As if you have a sleeve, but the sleeve is connected, it's like a cap sleeve connected to the armhole. Uh, to the shoulder line okay so instead of attaching a sleeve you can make yourself a little sleeve to cover up your arm so this is how i do i have my drop shoulder connection i use my ruler i come in you can see me pushing it in pushing it in pushing it in till i get the curvy curvy part of my ruler can you see and that curvy part of my ruler has to match up with this line i'm making the mark right now can you see so once it comes in like that because this is the shape of the arm i'm going to take my tape from the mid arm hole uh, connection from the junction of the arm hole and the shoulder seam line so i'm going to measure at three inches can you see so this is my three inches and that is where i'm going to have my my uh, drop shoulder okay so this is the midpoint the midpoint of my armhole if you remember when we are creating our chest line the chest line is from the tip of the shoulder eight inches okay sorry about that so eight inches from the tip of the uh, shoulder to the chest line okay whatever figure you have divide by two this should be the mid arm hole so from the mid arm hole i'm going to connect my three inches and i want you to also note how i'm placing my ruler because this is what makes your drop shoulder come out accurately so can you see that the way i place my ruler i come into this curve i meet the mid arm hole and i return so this is that and it's perfect for any drop shoulder of your choice okay so this is it and that is what we have for the front and we are done with the front the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut out these beautiful pieces okay so now i'm going to go over to the back the back is very simple you can have a high neck for the back and you can also have um, you can have a zipper at the back okay so you can also sew your that we are not doing anything too serious unless you want a princess that for the back so if you need a princess that all you are going to do 
is to take the armhole line just go around it find the mid armhole so here i have my mid armhole so for the back i'll connect my princess that directly to the mid armhole so this is how i place my ruler for the princess that for the back because there's no bust to the princess that so you make sure it goes into uh, this line okay so i just shift it a little because i need it to flush from this line so the position of your ruler matters a lot in pattern drafting okay so you can see it touches this line so when i'm cutting off i cut off this that and go into my princess that as i'm cutting this one goes into here why this goes into here as well so I'll also come out by one inch to accommodate this dart because of the curves we have here, the armhole, so that when sewing it, we don't have any shortage at that point. So this is how I keep my ruler to do that. So for the neckline, we are going to do a little alteration for the back neckline. For the back neckline, I'll come out from the tip of the shoulder by one inch, exactly what we did at this part and i'll just drop down my high neck a little by one inch as well okay it depends on what you actually need so i place my ruler like this touching this point and touching this point as you can see okay all right so we are done with the back the next is the drop shoulder so like i told you this is how i do uh, i drop my shoulder you can see i make sure the curvy part of the ruler matches up and flushes with what i have right here so once that is done i'll just take my three inches from here i'll take my three inches from here okay so the mid arm hole eight inches this is the mid arm hole at four inches so i have it here so next i'm going to connect my ruler like this making sure it touches the midpoint flushes with this line and come out to my drop shoulder so like this you have a perfect drop shoulder so this is what i expect you to have for front and back so if you don't have it like this then there's a problem somewhere like i said i'll be dropping the link to how to make a basic bodice on the description box below after this tutorial so i'll quickly cut out the pieces right now close up our bust that so you have your full pattern drafting so it's time for us to start cutting this pattern and the most important part of this tutorial is the cutting okay so you need to know how to cut cut this and cut your pattern very accurately so this is the center front i just cut and i'm cutting my illusion so this illusion mesh will be uh, will be sewn on fold okay so i'll drop it and i will come into my drop shoulder this is the drop shoulder part okay so once i come in with it i go like this remember it's a princess that we are making right here so it means i'm going this way so i'm going to cut through the dark line which we contoured can you see okay so i know why i'm taking my time to cut this because i need you to know or see the parts that we need and the parts we don't need so now i'm cutting through the sides and i will cut through the armhole which we added for our princess that accommodation okay so i cut off okay take off this that we don't need it open up my box that apply my adhesive and close it okay that i will do later so coming over to the back 
I'm cutting off the back. Remember, it's a princess that for the back. So if it, since it's a princess that, it means I'm going through the princess line like this. Can you see? So now I'm going to cut through the center back line. Okay. Then I cut through the drop shoulder armhole. Right, people so the that's in here for the back I'm also going to cut it off so this is what you will be having for the back so when you sew your princess that for the back this is what you are going to have can you see okay so for the front this is what you are going to also have for the front after I have closed my bust that You'll be having something like this. This part will be cut on fold and attached from the neckline. Can you see that? So when cutting this, we are going to cut two times of this. You will cut two times of this for right and left. For the back piece, you also cut two times of this. And this you cut two times of it. So this is the zip allowance. So you'll be adding your seam allowances all over to stitch this and this 0 0.5 to stitch it. To sew this and this 0 0.5. So after sewing this, uh, you come in with this unfold. This is going to be unfold and sewn like this. Okay. Then at the end of the day, the drop shoulder will be so after you must have sewn the back together okay and have your full back and sewn the front and have your full front your drop shoulder back this is the back of the drop shoulder and the front of the drop shoulder okay so this drop shoulder is going to be sewn together from shoulder to shoulder can you see so it will be sewn together okay so you have your full drop shoulder and the armhole at that point okay all right so if you want to learn more we have our telegram classes okay so you can join us on telegram so you'll be able to learn more on most unique sewing techniques okay all right so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and this is what you have as your pattern front and back so i believe you enjoyed this tutorial so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this each week like this video share to family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section as well and your suggestions as well okay so thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye